for your time, Your Excellency. Uh, three questions will go uh, quickly to have an overview of uh, what's going on in uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain in terms of the ICT developments and the latest technologies deployment. Uh, question number one. Uh, today, ICT industry is creating uh, a huge value to the future of businesses, enterprises, and individuals as well. Um, how, in your opinion, the Kingdom of Bahrain is taking advantage of ICT in promoting digitalization and building the uh, knowledge-based economy, the diversified economy for everybody? Uh, I think, first of all, thank you for the meeting and for the interview. Bahrain is leading the way to uh, adopt this digital transformation. Uh, for us, uh, digital economy is, uh, is a must because it's enabled the growth of all other economic clusters. We cannot have uh, uh, advanced financial service industries or manufacturing industries or even tourism industry unless we have the enabler, which is the backbone, which is the telecom infrastructure. Uh, today, everybody's talking about digital economy, about uh, high knowledge-based uh, economy, creating high-value jobs. You cannot create all these things unless you have the right infrastructure, the right digital infrastructure. So the government of Bahrain working with the, with the regulator as well as with the private sector, we collaborate together to make sure that we have the right business environment that enable the companies to bring us and to invest in, in this technology. Uh, we are pleased today Bahrain has a national broadband network uh, that reach all parts of Bahrain. By the end of 2019, 95% uh, of all Bahrain's household and business units will be linked with fiber optic, high-speed fiber optic uh, uh, network. We have uh, a full coverage, 100% coverage on mobile services. We are applying the latest technology. Today we have 3G, 4G technology, and we will be among the first country in the world uh, to deploy also the 5G technology. So working together uh, between the policymaker, the regulator, and the companies uh, is the right things to create the right balance to make sure that the companies make monies so that they can invest back in the uh, infrastructure. So apparently, uh, enablement is a key word, and it always starts from uh, creating the right national human resources. And um, ICT talents nurturing maybe is the uh, starting point. Moving uh, to Huawei in terms of the support we, uh, Huawei can provide. Huawei was and still keen to be an active player and supporter of uh, driving Bahrain digital transformation uh, journey. Uh, what role you can see Huawei is doing to make sure the work is done in line of the government, Kingdom of, of Bahrain government, national plans and visions? You know, Huawei is one of the biggest companies in this industry, among other companies also. Without their investment in R&D and creating this new product and services, we will not be able as all together to elevate the national standard of living, to elevate uh, the quality of services and to achieve and realize the digital economy. So they are playing an important role. They are the supplier of infrastructure. They are the creator of application. I mean, together with so many companies. There is no doubt Huawei has done fantastic jobs, of course, being in Bahrain, uh, serving the companies in Bahrain and serving the companies in the Gulf, in Saudi Arabia and UAE, Kuwait and other countries, I think is playing an important role to build this digital infrastructure for us in the GCC and in particular for us in Bahrain. So. Uh, of course, uh, we want to encourage more companies to come to Bahrain. We want to more, more product and more technology to come to Bahrain. And therefore, we, are, we appreciate their contribution. And uh, as I said, uh, unless they invest and continuously invest in R&D, uh, they will not be able to compete. Today, companies to compete and to survive the industry. Great. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.